Hello. Yes, yes, yeah. Ken for your love. Hang on. Thanks, Don. How did you know I was here? Are you having me followed? Anyway, listen, I'll make my way to that little girl's room. Yeah, well, I dare say you know what it is. Oh, man, now you got landing. Bob's gone. Yeah. It's the only thing I'm no good on this leg, isn't it? Standing on chairs. I don't like that, I'm a goner. Right. Look, I could find my way to the bathroom in these houses with my eyes shut. <laughs> no, I don't think you ought to call a doctor, Ken. I'm pretty sure, yeah. <laughs> I know he's in pain, but you don't need an ambulance. Uh -oh. You need teething gel. Yes, it's teething. It's always bound to have some. Yeah, honestly, love, it, it really is. Ivy! Well, I know it's <laughs> all. You've forgotten all this, haven't you? Look, I tell you what, I'll nip round to What's the house. What's the doobie? See you in a bit. Donna, I'm here. You're not feeling well, love, or what? I'm, I'm going home. I'm going home. Is she all right? <laughs> You've got it sorted, have you? Oh, Jack. Jack, I need this. Oh, I need it. Jacko, when you're ready, mate. Uh, son, serve Des, will you? I've only got one pair of hands, Jack. Fine. Peter, love. Peter, love, what wants to do? Oh, tell me, Jack. Well, come on, come on, tell me. Not. God. You look terrible. Hey, hey, have you had a bad do or something? Come on, sit you down. Sit down. There you are. There you are. Feel my hands. Feel them. Blimey, they look like the ice, aren't they? I've just seen Ivy. Ivy? Ivy Tilsley in their house. She was just stood there. Oh! Oh, oh. come on, Vera! I looked at the bathroom. I had my hand on the switch. I think I've got this really, you know, cold feeling down my back. Yeah. Feel it, feel no, it. No, no, I have, I have. Oh, I just turned round, she was stood there. And you saw her? As plain as I'm seeing you now. Well, that's what I was saying about the gas. <laughs> yeah, well, doing well. Anybody about, mate? Uh, oh, right, yeah, he's just followed Vera into the back, Don. I think you're going to have to save yourself, so, mate. Anybody about? Ah, uh, Don lad. Ah, uh, she forgot her coat, Vera did. Oh, right, thanks, thanks. Ah, uh, she, yeah, she all right? I think you'd best come in. Uh. Was it something I said, Vera, or, uh... Go on. <laughs> I think you'd better tell him. I'd just come over funny, that's all. Vera? I said... What's the matter, love? Tell him. Would you like somebody to tell you if it were here? Well, flipping egg, come on, tell me, will you? Well, if you think she looks as though she's seen a ghost on, it's because she reckons she has. I know what I saw with these eyes, and I know what I saw. Who did you say? Ah, oh, come on now. Look, she was stood there on the landing, Don, at the side of the front bedroom. <laughs> Look, not a word of a lie. Ah, oh, come on. You told me to tell you. You've had a few of them today, have you? Look, this is the first, this. And it were only after, because I needed it. Look, I'm going to feel her hand, it's like eyes, you know. Look, look you're seeing shadows. Boob's gone, hasn't it? So I left bedroom door open, because it throws a bit of light on landing. It's just shadows. That's all it is. You never told me the flaming boob had gone. That's got nothing to do with it. Of course it has. You never liked the dark. It won't pitch black, you know. They were a light to see. Anyway, it won't see, and it was a feeling I got. Never felt out like it. Feel my skin. We're just like somebody who opened a fridge door behind me. Yeah, that'd be <laughs> Ivy, yeah. Hey. <laughs> no, it's not Ivy. It's just shadows and a sash window that needs fixing. There you are, you see. You frighten the daylights out of yourself. But that's all it was, love. Well, you've got to live there. That was she only appeared to me because I were a friend. Anyway, think what you like. Did I see Billet Bar? Ah, you did. I'll get him to look at that sash window. Yeah. And it's, it's a shocking draft when winds around that corner. Yeah, anyway, I'd best get into the bar. Now, come on, V, see that funny side, eh? Yeah. Hey, I've left your car anyway, Vera. So, don't you believe in afterlife, eh? 
You were Catholic, because I know Ivy did. Yeah, well, think what you like. What Ivy? I'll have a list of jobs as long as you're on when you get back tonight. First job I'm going to do is fix that landing light. I'm telling you, it were Ivy. Yeah, so how come Don and Josie never saw her? Well, I don't know. Happen you to be psychopathetic or something? Be on the same wavelength? Oh, you don't think she was trying to tell me something? Like what? Well, I don't know, do I? Vera, she's dead. I know, she's dead. But only in the body, not in the spirits. Do you think she was trying to warn me? Warn you? Well, yeah, that something's going to happen. Oh, how would she know that? Well, they see more than we do, don't they? Oh, right, right. Um, next time you see her, she might tell you. While you're talking to us, see if you can get a couple of winners for me next week, will you? Hiya. Come to give us a hand, have you? Give your hand. Sarah Louise's party. Oh, don't look so worried. I didn't think yet. <laughs> no, I just wanted a word. Oh, come on in. Uh, no, it's all right. Uh, well, it's about last night. Last night? Yeah. yeah what happened to me? I, I just wondered if uh, you'd ever had an out-of-this-world experience upstairs, you know, like... Upstairs? Well, that's where it happened to me. Mind you, I suppose it could happen anywhere. Vera, do you think you ought to be talking to me about this? What? Well, I mean, what you and Jack get up to has got nothing to do with me or anybody else. Ah, uh, Jack, what's he got to do with it? Well, I assumed he was the one you had this experience with. Ah, uh, Jack, he wasn't even here. Uh, you've lost me. I'm sorry, I thought when you said upstairs, you meant... Well, you know. <laughs> Chance would be a fine thing. No, not up our stairs. Up your stairs. Here? Yeah, well, that's where it happened. That's where I saw it. Uh, Ivy's ghost. What? Vera, what? Yes, Vera. Why didn't you tell me what she'd seen? Thought she'd seen. What, and put the idea into your head that the place is haunted? By Ivy! Ivy's dead and buried. Oh, yeah, but it didn't stop her causing all the trouble over the will, did it? It didn't stop her nearly splitting us all. Look, Ivy's gone. End of story. Is it? Is that what you really believe? So what you're saying is that you believe in ghosts, and all? No, what I'm saying is I thought we were rid of her. Not so sure now. <laughs> Oh, come on, Vera. It's not your fault. That was you to not have Don had said no. It's not that. It's the thoughts that Ivy's trapped in that house. Well, maybe if they left a couple of windows open for her or something. What for? So she couldn't get out. Well, it don't work like that, does it? I don't mean trapped because she can't get out. I'm about trapped because she has to stay there because her soul can't find any peace. Right, I see. Well, did you see out last time you were around? Has Josie seen that? No. Who may I then? That means she's gone already. You must be very proud of your Stephen. Oh, of course I am. Girl, oh, good luck to her. Mm. Queen has two birthdays. Why shouldn't your Sarah Louise? Hey, quite right, Betty. Hey, yeah. uh, all right. What are you doing in here? Probably be up to your armpits in fairy cakes and jellies. No, I'm not stopping. Hey, Jack. Yes, Tom, why is that fine? No, no, I don't want to drink. I want a word. About what? Your Vera. She's been around to see Josie this morning, putting wind up her. I know, but what can I do? I mean, she still swears she saw Ivy. 
Yep. She's where she did walk. She's a hybrid ghost <laughs> at the top of their land. Look, no. if anyone wants to believe that, that's all right. But when she starts causing bother for other folk, I mean, it's beyond a joke. Oh, now, oh, come on, Don. You're not telling me that Josie fell for it. She don't believe the place is flipping haunted. I don't believe I'm hearing this. No, well, of course you don't. But it hadn't done much for atmosphere around our house. We thought we got rid of Ivy for good. Now Vera keeps bringing it all up no, again. Don, lad, I'm, I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do about it. You know what she's like? You like playing folk trying to shut her up. Oh, give us a point, right. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Leave, come on, let's oh, tuck in. Josie, sure, so really have gone to town, Lord. Oh, I was glad you had the chance. I tell you, I never thought I'd see you this day. I would all be round here, just one big happy family. <laughs> what was that? Oh, I, I must have left her window open or something. Come on, tuck in. Right. Well, okay, okay. Right, come on. Here comes the cake. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hang on. Well, I can't hear you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Zelu. Happy birthday to you. Why did you do that? It wasn't me. I didn't blow them out. It was Nick. No, it wasn't. Oh, what's your problem? We can always light them again. Yeah, well, who done it? Hey, you never know. It might have been a ghost. <laughs> It must be Josie. Don't you think you've caused enough trouble? Well, she's took Ivy's place, and not she? That's why she can't rest in peace. Josie took Ivy's place long before Ivy just it. And she wasn't bothered enough to do anything about it then, was she? Well, don't you worry about it when I go, cos I won't be coming back to haunt you and your fancy piece. She's welcome to you. Cos you want much cock first time round, will you? Give us a clue when you're going, will you? No, I saw her as clear as I'm seeing me and you standing here now. Did she say anything? She just smiled. Oh. Isn't it a lovely smile, but she looked troubled. Oh, I can't explain it. Perhaps she's not at rest. You know, trying to make contact. So you believe me? So I certainly believe in the afterlife. Yeah, well, I know Ivy did. I mean, I know she was a Catholic, but she went to see a spiritualist one time. That's it, then. She's shown herself to you, Vera. She's chosen you. Maybe she'd have a word with my mother. Why? Cos she... She tells fortunes, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. Right, well, I'll have to have a word with her. Cos half of them round here, you know, they think I'm off my head. Well, I'll have a word with her if you like. Will you? Yeah. Oh, I'd really appreciate that, I would. Hi, Vera. Hi, All right. Hello. Hi, right, have you picked out what you want? Oh, Sarah, I said fruit. I love an apple and an apple. An apple and an apple. And you want a banana? <laughs> right, there you go, pal. There you go. Thanks for keeping an eye on her. That's all right. Listen, what? I'll have those, you have that. Right, OK. <laughs> right, well, come on. All right. School. Have a come good on. day at school. Chop, chop. Bye. Bye. See ya. Bye. See ya. God, what are you doing? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you, Mrs. Clark. It's just, um, well, the postman put this letter for Don through Desi's door and I was just bringing it over. Oh, thanks, thank, thank you. Uh, uh, Andy, you, you didn't see anybody at my window when you when you were coming across. You didn't see anybody upstairs, uh, did you? No. Why? Hey, you don't think you've got an intruder, do you? No, no. Uh, no, um, I have to been spending too much time on my own. I'm, I'm imagining things. <laughs> well, I can take a look if you like. No, I'm just being stupid. I, I think I'll just take myself out for a bit, though. Uh, uh, thanks, thanks, thanks for the letter. Okay. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sarah. What are you doing out here? Where's Nicky? Bed. Yes, which is where you should be. I'm waiting for Grandma, Ivy. 
Grandma Ivy died, sweetheart. I know, but I saw her up there in the bedroom window. No, that would have been Josie. No, it wasn't. She was downstairs. Grandma Ivy was upstairs. She waved to me. <sighs> come on. All right, come on, let's get inside. <laughs> She wasn't there last night, either. She was. Hey, she couldn't have been Sarah. And you know it. So, come on. <laughs> get in this car Here and let's get going. We're going to be late. I know, I can, uh, can have a word with your missus. You don't like can have anything, anything you like from my missus and you'll find me a very understander fellow. Well, that, that's... Don't want to like a word with you, Vera. Yeah. Come on. Will you please... Stop spreading these daft tales about Ivy's ghost. Daft tales? Is that all it is, is it? Don't start, Vera. It's him that started. Look, Sarah Louise says now that she, she saw Ivy standing at the bedroom window. Okay. She has. No, of course she hasn't. No, that's what she's saying. She's a kid, Vera. She'll say anything she thinks people want her to say. Which is why I'm asking you, can we have an end to it? Yeah, well, that's assuming they're not true. It's definitely assuming none of it's true. Well, that's where we disagree, isn't it? Hey, excuse me, Fiona hasn't been in, has she? No, that, not that I've noticed. Mind you, don't take my word for it. I see things and I'm not supposed to say oh. Sarah, hang on a minute. Hey, a little bird has been telling me about you. Didn't you look across the street and see Granny Ivy at bedroom window? I don't know now. Look, it's all right, you can tell me. Never mind what your mum and dad says. You did, didn't you, eh? Yeah. And what did she do? Was she start waving to you? Yeah, I think she did. Well, she would love, cos she loves you, doesn't she? Yeah. Hey, well, listen, if you see her again, don't tell anybody else. Just come straight to me, and that'll be our little secret, won't it, eh? <laughs> everyone look at the camera. Vera Duckworth said, if I see Grandma right. Ravi again, on, I've everyone. got to tell her. Way. What? Come on, we're supposed to be smiling. Did you know about this? Lovely. This way, no. this way, you two. This but way. When did you see her? That's this it. afternoon. Oh, can't we talk about this later? Are we all ready then? Yes. 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 No, no, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, no. 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 I just wanted to be right. Oh. Well, when did you see her? I mean, did she come to the house? When I was coming. Come on, keep looking. Home from school. Oh, you see how. Well, you're so big and huge, nobody's going to notice, Stephen. What? Just breathe in. Oh, oh, no. Who's that? I don't know. Well, oh, I better go and see. <sighs> now, nobody else move. No, we won't. We're going to be here all week. Hey, what's this about Ivy's ghost? Oh. Uh, nothing. No, there's no such things as ghosts, is no. there? No, no, only in stories. Yeah. Very silly stories at that. Yeah, very silly stories, they are. You'll never guess who it is. Oh! oh <laughs> it's you, Shimon. Hey, you've not seen no Elsie Granny Ivy, have you? Bruce, Mum and Dad say there's no such thing as ghosts. It's not ghosts, it's spirits. Look, there's no need to be frightened, you know, cos they can't harm little children. Why? Well, because they've got guardian angels watching over them, aren't they? Like a nativity play. Yeah. Have they got wings? Well, they will have, yeah. How come I can't see it then? Because they're invisible. Like Grandma Ivy's spirit. Yeah, that's it. But we saw Grandma Ivy. Look, just keep your eyes open in case you see her again, all right? Eh? Over there. Come on, school. Right, look forward to it. Thank you. Hey, our Ida love. Hey, what about this ghost? Oh, I saw her at the top of, uh, you know, down Brennan's Landing, as sure as I'm sitting there now. What was she doing? She was just stood there, smiling. But she looked troubled, you know, as if something were bothering her. 
Are you sure you hadn't imagined this? No. Well, you said you were run down, and it can play very funny tricks, can stress. Listen, have you ever known me talk about ghosts before? No, this is what I'm saying. It's not like you. Perhaps get somebody in for a few hours, a bit of extra help. I don't need any extra help. I just want to put Ivy's soul to rest. I'll get somebody in who can do it. But don't you go worrying yourself to death over it. I don't want to be coming down here to another funeral in a hurry. And another thing, this hot pot could do with livening up. Have you got no red cabbage? Oh, evening. I'd like a word, please, Mira. Oh, right. what about? I think you know what about. Look, I saw it. I don't care what you saw. You'll stop putting ideas into Sarah's head. I mean, Ivy was a grandma. It's upsetting her to think that she's not at peace. And I mean, all this claptrap about guardian angels. Look, it's not claptrap. You'll not... say no more, all right? Oh, all right. I mean, she's your daughter. Thank you. You don't trouble with people round here, don't you? There's too many like her and that Ida Clough. Set six. Better. I just feel responsible. You see, I were her best friend, so it's only natural she'd choose me. To do what? Well, to put her out of her misery, because she's not happy. I know she's not happy, especially now she's moved in. Josie, look, why doesn't Ivy show herself to a scare out of number five? Look, it don't work like that, does it? That's nasty. It's against the rules, I see. I've got to know what she wants, what she wants to say to me. But I can't do that in here, can I? How about bingo? What? Well, you and Ivy used to go a lot. I mean, I was thinking, well, perhaps she's still going. Do you think she does? Hey, do you think if I started going again, but she'd get in touch? Well, uh, on second thoughts, no, no, probably not. I mean, it's against the rules, isn't it? And it is gambling, isn't it, bingo? Yeah, that's right, love. Well. You see, neither of us will rest, so... Well, we've had a conversation, I know that. And you see, Ivy's close. I know she is. It's like tuning into a radio. Yeah. Picking program out you want, you know, you want to mm. listen to, and then it slips off onto something else. I just wish we could get onto the same wavelength. A good aerial. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Do you know, it's a waste of time telling our Jack. Mm. And that Don Brennan thinks I've gone off my head. <laughs> oh, it's done me good to have a chat, yeah. Betty. Thanks. <laughs> thanks for listening. My pleasure, love. On second thoughts, Mother, I don't think you are the right person. When I said to give Vera help, I meant advice. I think you should call in a proper spiritualist. I'm a spiritualist. You read teacups for fun. It's not the same thing. Look, I just want to get through to her. Uh, well, now you're talking wavelengths. A volt or two either way, and you and Ivy could keep missing each other. Please, Mother. No, that's how it is. Have you had any dreams about Ivy? She'll be having nightmares before you finish. I keep seeing her lips moving, but I can't, I can't hear what she's saying. Ectoplasm. What? That's what they use to manifest difficult to talk through. Oh, Vera, I know you need help, but my advice would be to call in an expert. And we've left Deirdre in that shop. But Ivy's my responsibility. Don't you see that? I can't turn me back on her, can I? Vera, are you doing out of what? Oh, yeah, I'm coming, Betty. You see, now I've dumped my problems onto you, I'm Look, I'm sorry. I'm not going to you know, there might be some in the library, book I could read. Good luck, Vera. Ectoplasm. A creature in torment, Maureen. I can't ignore it. Vera's not in torment. She's just upset. I meant her at number five. Torment. I can feel it. Mother, I'm warning you. Don't interfere. I wouldn't be interfering, would I? Not as such. I'm the link, that's all. The medium. The sort of junction box between Vera and her friend. 
They need me, our Maureen, and I'll not deny them. No screams or bumps in the night. No. Why? <laughs> Just asking. <laughs> Might get a bit lively later on, you know. Vera's got the Ghostbusters coming in. <laughs> Look, Josie, I know we haven't always seen eye to eye, but I'm asking, I'm begging, just let Maud do her stuff. Hocus pocus. I tell you, Don won't wear it. Folk always mock what they don't understand. I am in no mood to mock. This has been a very upsetting business. But Don won't find out, will he? Is it work you said? Vera, if Ivy is walking around, it's all in your head. Don and me, we haven't felt or seen a thing. Psychic shutdown. What? Closed her out for reasons best known to yourself. Once that door slams, there's no opening it. Good. Well, where does that leave me, eh? My door's still open. If Josie doesn't want us, I see no point in stopping. No, look, I've asked you and I've begged you. Now I'm pleading. Uh, that, Vera, I was running a bath. It won't take a minute if she's adjacent. Adjacent? Ivy. Close and nearby are words that we use, the living. With spirits, it's adjacent. It's when their world is running parallel to ours. And it won't take long, you say? No. Well, depends if I've... Uh, adjacent, yeah. Well, hurry up. I'm having a bath. Thanks, love. Would you mind not using any electrical appliances until I've finished? It disturbs the energy field, you see. Right, dear, get the props out. Now, when you've lit them, draw the curtains. Right. Show yourself, damn it! Say something at least. I haven't got time to waste here. I've got a shop to run. Don't shout at her. You've got to shout, love. Need her to lose her temper, you see. Manifest herself. Your dear friend Vera's as brassed off with you as I am. Sat here like two ducks in a desert, and for what? I've always heard you had plenty to say for yourself. What a joke. Stop, Stuart, I've shot him. Yeah, I still don't Shh. think you should... Shh. Something's happening. Ooh. Can you hear it? Yeah. We're making contact. Hey, sir, more done. She's just trying to make contact. She... Ouch! Come on, the pair of you. Have you seen what they're doing yeah, well, here? We didn't. Uh, they said it wouldn't take very long. <laughs> a few more seconds and I'd have had her. Yeah. This is my house, not a flaming crypt. Look at it, candles. I didn't expect you back. No, that's obvious, isn't it? Come on, Vera, will you make out? Yeah, well, I'm not surprised she won't talk to you, Don Brennan. I mean, she's frightened of you. I've brought her so far. And I reckon she'll turn up before the night's out. Well, if she does, I'll send her round to see you, OK? Now, shift! Yeah, well, you'll regret this. Hey, well and all. After all I've said. I mean, after all I've said. What is the point of me trying to play it down if you keep on encouraging her? Hey, look, switch it off, will you? Look, Vera was beside herself. Not to let her try would have been cruel. And how cruel is it to me, eh? Coming home to find Maud Grimes holding a flipping seance. Well, it might have worked. Worked? They call her Maud the Fraud, you know that, don't you? I am talking about Vera. Get her off our backs. Look at it. It's black magic, is that? Look, what are you doing? That's Vera's stuff. She can fish for a mint bin if you want to. Uh, 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 now, uh, watch it. Don't do anything stupid, you heard what Maud said. You'll regret it. The mood I'm in. If any ghost comes near me, I'll... I... Just watch me. Don! Oh, 
What are you sneaking about for? Oh, what? You want to be more careful than imagine brought me torch? I'm still doing it, yes. Have you got that? And if you hear any daft rumours, don't believe them. I think you're taking it all too seriously, Vera. There was a suggestion that Ivy was haunting our front garden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, folk always mock things they don't understand. Maud Graham said that. I think come the spring I'll give Ivy a watering can. She can sprinkle our borders. Oh, it's not funny, Derek. <laughs> no, it's not. And if you come in here to laugh at me, oh, I'll... Yeah, let's not fall out over something that might not... Well, I suppose it, it might exist if one stretches one's imagination. Look, it's not my imagination. And don't worry about Ivy being in your garden, cos there's someone shining in your garden if I had a choice. <laughs> Fine romance, this. I never thought you could be so heartless, Don Brennan. No wonder she run after that nunnery. I resent that, Vera. I don't care, it's true. There you go. That's her there. I don't want to disappoint you. I'm quite happy to stay the night. You are? <laughs> you see, 99.9% .9 of sightings are negative. It's the other 0.3 that interests me. But what time do you want me to come round? Uh, look, uh, let's leave it for tonight. Uh, if we need your help, we'll, we'll get in touch. The offer's there. You'll not be the first satisfied customer. <laughs> Where did you find him? It's <laughs> great fried bread, though, don't you, Don? I'm glad you think it's funny, Don. You know what? We've become a laughing stock. Uh, well, don't blame me. I don't. I blame Vera. But it's going to stop. Uh, and I tell you, I'm not having him stopping the night. I don't fancy him in the house. Yeah, just leave it with me. I'll sort this out. Sorry. Not at all, not at all. I knocked before. You must have been out the back. Ah, yes. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, Father Baines, is it? It is indeed. We got him. Yeah, well, better come in then. Arthur, you found him then. Thank you and God bless you, my daughter. Right, you. If I save myself, I think I could have had a vocation, either for the altar or the stage. Oh, we're not doing this for laughs. It's the only way to be done with this nonsense. Omnibus, minibus, minibus, omnibus, and it's turn now. Omnibus, minibus, minibus, omnibus, trolleybus in eternum. Pro Giorgio Armani et Semper. Et Semper Armani Vobisco. Yeah. How long have you been lapsed? It's years since they've taken that in. When I was an altar boy, I was all we knew. That's right, it's the only language for talking to a ghost. Tempest fugit in minibus. <laughs> Nintendo in Omnibus, Armani at Semper. Hello, Vera. Uh, is everything all right? Because I saw a priest coming and I thought, you know, you might be having a bit of trouble. Uh, is it still here? All right. So do you want me to come back later, you know, when you're finished doing your uh, bits and bobs? Uh, look, uh, just step in. Father, this is Mrs. Duckworth, Father, a very good friend of Ivy's that I told you about. A pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Duckworth. It's good to meet any friend of the departed on these occasions. Yeah, well, we were next door machinists, you know, for years. So you could say that I was a friend of the departed. Well, let us hope, Mrs. Duckworth, we can now truly call her the departed. Let us hope. How do you mean, Father? Uh, there's no reason why we shouldn't... Uh... Say it to anyone, is the father? Well, there's no theological reason, uh, Mr. Brennan. I know it's up to you. Do you mean uh... Father Baines has been here doing the business, Vera? Uh, being uh, unquiet, you know. No creature of God's, Mrs. Duckworth, is so deserving of our prayers as an unquiet soul. Doing the business? How do you mean? Uh, well, you can tell it better than me, Father. Uh, well, uh, people uh, use the word exorcism. Well, I don't myself. I prefer to say that we uh, intercede for the deceased and with prayers and um, 
other things, we release the soul from the last of its earthly ties. I know that you are aware of the reasons for this. Oh, Father, I'm so glad. I am so glad. Because that's all I've been needed, you know, an helping hand to the other side. Uh, Mr Brennan put it that way himself many a time. Yes, well, you can tell. Well, I can, because I'm very sensitive, you know. I was the first one. I was the first one she appeared to, weren't I? Only you didn't believe me, but you do, don't you, Father? Well, I'm no sceptic, Mrs Duckworth. <laughs> and that's your religion speaking? Well, it was me that called it, Mary. Yeah, well, you did the right thing. Oh, I, I can tell. It's been lifted. She's gone to the right abode. Anyway, if you pop in the rovers later, there's some hot pot waiting for you. Extremely kind. Well, just a little thank you on Ivy's behalf, you know. Oh, yes. You can tell. Oh, yeah, the, the light's coming. Oh. Eddie, my old mate, you've played the blinder. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> 